Right, what am I waffling on about today? Bush, well it's these two, that's what I'm waffling on about today. I sometimes get quite a lot of questions saying, what about this light versus that light? And what are your top three lights and things like that? Those are probably things which, when I eventually get time, because I keep getting bombarded with new flashlights, but I will try and go over it in videos. But I just wanted to do this quick one, because it was a que it's a question that comes up quite a lot, um, about, especially about the Army Tech, and I've just uh, reviewed this one recently, and I wanted to pit them together, because not only do they look similar, I mean, I'm sure you can see the visual similarities there, they're pretty obvious. Both use a TIR, both got the button on the side, the heat sink, and um, yeah, they've got a slightly different output, but I'll go over that. Um, what I wanted to do was I just wanted to show a beam shot. I'll very, very rapidly go over what I do like and what I don't like on both of them, because I've done full reviews on both of them, and you know they're nearly an hour long, so I'm not going to go over that again. I'm not into recycling content. Um, so very, very quickly, Army Tech, very, very, I mean, I love this. I mean, I have dropped it, as you can see there. I've, I've smashed the bottom there loads of times. It, it still works, never missed a beat. Um, it's got a 10 meter drop rating, which is extremely impressive, as opposed to, I think it's about 1.5 on that or two. Um, so very good. That's also This has also got a 10 meter uh, waterproof rating, which is exceptional. It's only about two meters on there. Um, it's got a mag base, so if I can find a piece of metal, there you go, there's a bit of metal, boosh, mag base. I like that feature it's very handy um, it's less handy out in nature but um, it's certainly a handy feature um, but you can see the same about the luminite that's also got a mag base and they both work exceptionally well uh, with that in mind it's also got a magnetic charging system so clips on into a USB and it charges. The only problem with this one is, um, which is a demerit uh, in regards to the Wizard Pro V3 here, you have to disengage the circuit to charge it, and then when it's finished charging, you can re-engage it. So that means you can't use it whilst it's charging, which is a feature I know a lot of people who use headlights use. I've used that myself when I've been sitting around a campfire. And I've wanted to keep going for hour after hour and, and still cook and things like that. So that is a, a, one slight down point of this. Um, this will pump up, I mean, if you go into its top setting, um, it's 1800 lumens, which is very, very, very good. Uh, whereas this is about 1200. But how much do you want, especially on a TIR? Um, it's generally for close up stuff to, to medium range at best, anyway. Um, love the build on this. Like I say, I've dropped this. This comes with a 10 year warranty, which is exceptional. I really like that. It's got a nice TIR lens there, which I love. Um, comparing it, I would say that I can see why that's got a better drop rate. And look at the depth of the bezel there before it hits the TIR. Quite pronounced, whereas if you compare that to the Luminite, less pronounced, and this is wider. I would argue that this width is better because I prefer more of a peripheral vision and spread. So the TIR, okay, look, so to put it very simply, this is brighter than this one, but this spreads out more, so it's that's more apparent, and this has a, what you would call a warm tint. But again, I'm not going to go into the, the fine minutia. This is more of a neutral heading towards the light end of the spectrum, as in cool white. Uh, but it certainly isn't what you would class as a 6,500K cool white. Um, but again, go to the review if you want to know more about that. And I mean, bearing on this, um, again, good build, wide TIR. Um, you've got the magnetic charge on the base there. It's magnetic base. So that's a handy feature to have. Um, five year warranty, so 10 year warranty on the Army Tech, five year in the Luminite. But again, I've dropped that and I dropped that into some gravel um, at quite a height. Not a, not a ding. I think oh, there was one little ding, wasn't there? Was it here? Yeah. Hard to see, but one ding there, but I did smash that about. Um, you can use this whilst charging, which is a lovely feature. Um, you get a free cell with this, but you do with that. But the only difference is that's a standard flat top, whereas this is a proprietary cell. But yes, it's a proprietary cell, but they're only double what you'd pay for like something like a Samsung 30Q. Whereas on the OLED implementation of a proprietary cell, it's something like three times plus. Um, so they haven't tried to rip people off too much. Excellent band. I love the attachment band on this. So go to the review if you want to look at that. I'll put the links down the bottom there um, if you really want to do that. But the whole point of this is um, I want to show beam shots. So people can make up their own mind. Because I, like I say, I keep getting questions. And I'll, I'll do more of this sort of video if that's what people want. But I don't want to waffle on too much. Um, 
this one doesn't have a strobe that one has beacon modes and all sorts of other modes so it's a shame and the um, the lowest mode on this is a little bit high it's about five lumens but you could argue that this is going to be up on your head so you know you're not always going to be using it up close that is okay that that, that is, is sort of one argument you could make but i would prefer to have seen uh, one or sub lumen on this just for close-up map, map reading and things like that um and the price of this is, is a little bit higher than this one but they're both quite expensive units but i guess you pay for quality and that's the way it goes so enough waffling let's get outside i really want to show you beam shots um, where i'll show you them in different variety of uh, locations and weather um during the night and you can make up your own mind so enough of me waffling Bye bye